The white cue ball travels across a pool table and collides with the stationary eight ball. The two balls have equal mass. After the collision, the cue ball is at rest. What must be true of the speed of the eight ball? Um, so in order to solve this problem, we have to employ the law of conservation of momentum. So that law tells us that the momentum in a closed system before an event, usually a collision, must be equal to the momentum in the system after that event. So in this case, we can take the momentum before the collision to be the mass of the cue ball times the speed, or sorry, the velocity. That's an important distinction uh, since momentum is a vector quantity. So times the velocity of the cue ball plus the mass of the eight ball times the velocity of the eight ball. Um, and these are the initial velocities, so we'll add an additional subscript, maybe of a zero. Um, so this is the momentum before the collision. The mass of the cue ball times its velocity, plus the mass of the eight ball times its velocity before the collision. Now the momentum in the system after the collision will be equal to the mass of the cue ball times its velocity after the collision, maybe we'll have a subscript of f for final, plus the mass of the eight ball times its velocity after the collision. Now let's fill in what we know in this equation. Um, so we know that initially the eight ball is stationary. So its velocity is zero, which means that this term will be zero in the uh, momentum before side of the equation. And then after the collision, we know that the cue ball is at rest. So its velocity after the collision will be zero as well. We can eliminate this term. So that leaves us with the mass of the cue ball times uh, its velocity initially will be equal to the mass of the eight ball times its velocity after the collision. Now, the reason I've only been using uh, this variable of m and not giving it any subscripts throughout is because we're told that the two balls have the same mass. So this m will have the same value as this m, uh, which means that we can cancel the two by dividing both sides of this equation by m. If we do that, we're left with the initial velocity of the cue ball is equal to the final velocity of the eight ball. Um, so the speed of the eight ball, or the magnitude of its velocity after the collision, will be the same as the speed of the cue ball before the collision. So let's write that out. The eight ball uh, will have the same speed as the cue ball did before the collision. That's the answer to this problem.